I want to talk about two lessons I learned from the events of this uh, very changing year, right, 2020. Just earlier today, I was following the news on the verdict on the Breonna Taylor uh, uh, murder, and a lot of people were upset. Right now, as I'm speaking, there's a lot of protesting in another part of the country. But it made me realize um, two habits that I need to change in my personal life given what happened to other people who practice these kind of habits. One, uh, I've been much more aware of what I'm eating and some of my lifestyle habits because about a year ago somebody ate something in another part of the world and um, it has killed hundreds of thousands of people, actually millions of people around the world and it's caused billions of others to lose their jobs and livelihoods and um, I used to eat very mindlessly I mean I'm fortunate that I didn't uh, get my hands on the wrong food and the food I was eating was relatively okay it was too much well, it was relatively okay um, but then I realized that I wasn't even enjoying most of the food that I was eating I was inhaling it and um, the events of this past year really showed that um, okay I'm inhaling food I'm not even enjoying it it's going down I'm spending a lot of money on it money that I could be doing better things with um, also there's a lot of people who don't have enough to eat in this world it generates garbage um, and um, it simplifies my life a lot I okay and the other thing is that now that I'm not spending so much time and money eating I'm actually uh, doing more and um, I published four papers on artificial intelligence this year so it's a huge drag not just on myself but on everybody around me when I mindlessly eat right it's almost like a virus itself right it's taking away productivity I, I end up not publishing as much and um, everybody else loses right just like when somebody decided to eat some bat soup in another part of the world everybody else loses right it's tempting to think that we're only hurting ourselves but everything has a little bit of a spillover effect especially when you when you act mindlessly right the other thing that i've been more mindful of is um, okay so we had the Breonna taylor uh shooting we had the uh, george floyd who was uh uh who died while being arrested and it made me be more mindful of my surroundings when i go out in public i used to have a bad habit of covering my ears uh, i would I, I would listen to stuff while, while i'm walking sometimes even while i'm driving um, at the grocery store and um, fortunately i've never run into a situation where somebody had a weapon but i've had situations when somebody has startled me and it caused me to 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 react badly and uh, what else has happened but it, it made me much more aware the, the last thing i want is some kind of misunderstanding right imagine that for whatever reason uh, the police want to talk to me or or maybe not even the police right somebody with a weapon is trying to mug me and because i have my headphones on i i don't know what's going on i react in, in incorrectly to that that would not be good right uh, but it's not just dangerous situations that, that 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 i avoid when i take my headphones off and be more mindful of, of this, my surroundings sometimes i also meet people who i strike a good uh, relationship with as well right and I can always go home to listen to my music, right? Even home, I should probably be a little bit more aware of my surroundings, right? Um, anyways, um, it's been turbulent times, but I hope you take some lessons out of it and benefit from it, right? Thank you.